Uh, well, what the hell's a Gorn? What the hell is a Gorn? You're a Gorn. <laughs> I'm a Gorn. I used to work on Star Trek. I was an actor and a stuntman. Uh, well, I was born in Chicago, Illinois. That was a long time ago. <laughs> We, we moved around a little bit when I was growing up, so I could always run and play and jump and fight and do all these things that you shouldn't be doing. And then when I hit uh, 13, that's when my life really started. I went to a little place out in Susanville, California, got my first horse and got my first learning of, of being a cowboy. Rodeo on weekends and stuff and met, met guys at the rodeo that they worked extra in the motion picture business. And the first feature I ever worked on was, uh, was Rawhide. And I'd, I'd, I'd see these stunt guys come in. Well, I said, well, heck, I can do that. Joe Pevany got me the start on, on Star Trek and uh, he just told me he had a job for me to do and he wouldn't tell me what the job was. He says, Bobby, he says, you'll like it. And I said, well, what is it? He says, no, don't ask what it is. You'll like it, trust me. All right, so I go to wardrobe to see what my wardrobe is. <laughs> a lizard costume. He's, he's a reptilian creature that, that we got hijacked by the Metrons to another planet to have a battle with Bill Shatner to the death. And Bill didn't kill me. We filmed it in November, and uh, it was at Vasquez Rocks with the reptile suit, the Gorn suit. It, it got pretty hot, yeah. Anything over 100 starts getting pretty hot. It was made out of a, a rubber, neoprene rubber, like a diver's wetsuit, and uh, a man named Wow Chang came up with the costume for Roddenberry. So they made up the Gorn suit, but he also put all them extra muscles and stuff on top of that rubber. So that, it, it got a little toasty, but we worked with it. However, they did tell me, don't drink a whole lot of coffee in the morning when you come to work. Why is that? Coffee makes you pee. And that suit was a solid rubber suit up to here. Let's see, where's... You see these dragons here? Those are all from uh, Roddenberry's wife. Oh, Majel. Majel, yeah, they're, those there. And then there's the dear old Gorn room. There's a mask up there. And there's another one there. And the guy from Switzerland made those for me. I got these for at, at an interview type of a thing for the Gorn Star Trek. And they had these little jugs. That was one of my first pictures. That was. When I first did a creation show in Pasadena, I had an eight by 10 of that. They're just uh, gifts that people have given me and some of them that I've, I've purchased. They had sequences in the eyes, which was kind of psychedelic looking, but underneath they had a couple little slits here and I could see for there. But however, in order to see anything down, I would have to turn my head way down so I'm looking straight down at me. I had to see it before we shot the shot and have an idea where I'm going with it. <laughs> Walked around and, and did a little talking with Kirk. Wait for me. I shall be merciful. And did a little bit on the on the hugging and the squeezing. And... <laughs> the worst fight scene there ever was, but hey, the people loved it. They say you should have beat the hell out of him and all this kind of stuff, you know. What was it like fighting Kirk and stuff? This is the one that Carl showed me. Uh, the one that got me into all this shit. And he says, Dad, that was you. My son was the one that got me all going into this stuff here. And finally, I uh, okay, get off my back, you know, because I've seen some, some of the action figures. And I was always curious about where they came from. I did my first Gorn convention in uh, Pasadena for Creation Entertainment. Fortunately, when I was on, when we were filming Arena, I brought my cameras there. 
and I took pictures of everything and people took pictures of me and stuff like that. So I had some pictures of me as the Gorn. So I went out and printed up eight by tens, had 50 of this one and had 50 of the other one. And it wasn't an hour and I was clean out of them. There's a cup from a family of people. He's got, uh, it's him and he's got three daughters. People bring stuff like this and they say, I bought this for you, you know. <laughs> you know it's the God bless them, you know. See if they go out and do all this stuff. How many episodes of Star Trek did you do? I did four. The first was Arena. The second was Return of the Archons. Third was Mirror, Mirror. And then the, I believe the last one was called The Apple. But this was at a certain time in the, in the township where they had a festival of whistle blows and everybody goes crazy and I went crazy and I threw all this out and I run at the camera and I hollered festival, festival and then I ran off and I chased in with, got in with all the other people. And, festival, 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 festival. Well, you know, I was so happy that it was festival time. Mirror Mirror, I had a part in it. I was one of Chekhov's henchmen. So we took Bill Shatner up in the elevator and we had a skirmish and, and I got zapped. <laughs> the last episode was the apple. Now uh, the apple, we were in, in uh, painted bodies. Our hair was white or uh, pinkish. Baal was who the tribe worshipped. We worshipped a big cave that had electronics in it, and that was supposed to be Vol. When Kirk and his group came down, they disrupted us people. And then they, we decided that we were going to get rid of them. So that was where I come in again. We had a fight with Bill Shatner, Leonard Nimoy, and a couple of the others, and, and uh, he threw me over his shoulder and stuff like that, and then that was that. The guy made, the guy made this. It's a good dust catcher, though. <laughs> and then there's this one, the bean bag. Where, what convention or where are you off to go? Well, I'm going to Vegas next four, uh, in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? How did you got to play the <laughs> I feel great about it. Otherwise, I'd be sitting home. I wouldn't have anything to do. At least this way, there's, there's people calling me to sign a photograph. Also, it's the part where there's conventions concerned. I don't go because I want to make money. I go because it's the fans. That's, that's the whole thing right there. It's, whatever I do, I hope I do it for the fans, and I hope they see it and, and shake their head, yeah, he, he did good. I'm hoping to think the Gorn is popular because he treats the fans like their fan and he likes to know that he brought a little something into their life. I'm still known as the Gorn Captain. <laughs>